welcome to a wet and windy Wales, hence the uh, stylish high vis. I say um, t the lights fade in, but I am going to try and fix that one because uh, yeah, recently um, I just spent three hours polishing the thing, and my kids said they wanted to go off road and see what it was like, which is great. But unfortunately, this happened. Ready? Yeah. V6 sounds pretty cool when it's uh, got a nice exhaust on it, but that is really loud and it's actually made it quite a bit more sluggish. So I'm gonna have a look underneath to see what I can see. So here we are underneath the truck. Uh, as you can see, it's all jacked up and locked in place with an axle stand. This is the main bit I was worried about the cat, but that's nice and solid. I've, I found what the problem is. As you can see, that's okay. If you look back at that flange, here is where the issue is. You can see the, both bolts are actually. Uh, missing which I'm well happy about that that means that this could be a fairly easy fix although actually seeing that looking up around there it looks like it's actually cracked the weld off of there as well so I think I'm gonna have to weld that up get a new nut and bolt and then this thing's good to go the good thing is it's only a very small piece of exhaust but the only thing is they look very rusty as well <sighs> damn I thought I was onto a winner then with that Welcome to another wet day in Wales, I say, but as you can see, it's actually, even though the floor is really wet, the truck is still there. I didn't get on with much last night because it started raining. Obviously I need to weld stuff up and everything. So I uh, had to park it back on the drive and come back out again today. The weather is actually broke even though it was raining all day. So I'm hoping it stays like this for a couple of hours so I can get it done and get it back on the road. So here's just uh, a quick tip for you. I need to measure the width of that, uh, that part of the pipe so I can get a new gasket for it. So what I usually do is get a piece of cardboard, put it up between the two exhausts, press them together then with the cardboard in place, you know, for the perfect sort of round imprint of how wide the actual exhaust is then. Oh yeah boy! <laughs> right, let me get some of this exhaust paste around here. Oh, fuck it out, it's really runny this stuff, I've never used this kind of thing. <laughs> Oh, you've got to be careful, see. Right, now I'm going to put my foot on the exhaust. I should hopefully be able to fit that up in under. There. Back under the truck again, because the other day we fixed the joint up the top there that needed welding and all sorts of gubbins. That's fixed, but then also we found that this one is actually quite loose and it started leaking, which hence all the water around there. Uh, so today's task is to try and get this to uh, seal back up. I'm thinking new nuts and bolts and a bit of sealer, and hopefully everything will be sweet, but it depends on where I can get these muscular bolts out. Do you mind doing the honours and firing her up? Yeah, no worries. That's right. There's definitely no... Um, she's definitely solid there. There's no movement there, which is fantastic. As long as she's in park, it should be fine. She should just fire straight up.
Oh no, can you leave it running for me a sec, dude? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna check the other joints while she's running. I would have said that's been blowing for a while just because of the amount of water that's coming out of that exhaust when you rev it, there's actually quite a steady stream of water. All right. Now, after every repair, you've got to do the most important thing, put this back in two wheel drive, and that is the road test, the fun part, because this thing was hideously slow before we did the exhaust. It was, it was like driving a milk float back, but then I limped it back home, so hopefully it'll have a bit more power underfoot again. That sounds so much better. <laughs> It's definitely not the most sprightly truck in the world. You've got 100, 170 horsepower, but I tell you, it's better than it's better than 110 or something like that in it. Like a lot of the old trucks used to have. So I mean, it does. It pulls. The gearbox seems to be lovely in it. It's an automatic. It's effortless to drive. But it's amazing how underpowered some of the heavy vehicles used to be. Yeah, but I mean. Yeah, the thing is, I suppose with this one as well, is I mean, it's got 153,000 miles on it at the minute. It's still the original engine box, as far as I can tell from the paperwork I had with it. And I mean, you do find, I think that's why the American stuff does last so long, because the thing is, you've got like a 5 litre engine with 190 horsepower, and that's nothing for an engine like that. Got to do a bit of proper testing, haven't we? Oh yeah, if you're going to do a road test, might as well do an off-road test. Not exactly. Sorry, you test. Not exactly. Stick in four-wheel drive. Got to make sure she can still go up all them hills. Definitely. I'm not going to go over nowhere that's got the... Uh... Not any bits with trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I can't really fault this truck because if it was... Uh... Oh, hello, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't really fault the truck because to be honest, if I wasn't an idiot and driving this thing through woodland and over a tree thinking it was a good idea, then it would never have broken. <sighs> where we are Google, currently. I think... Uh... Now's, now it might be a time for a couple of photos for a uh, couple of teaser shots. I reckon so. Lovely. Yeah. So the thing I need to adjust is the... Uh, the belts and they squeak ever so slightly when you hit um, full lock. Really? Yeah, but I think they just need a bit of adjustment. That's a video for another day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, over this side so she doesn't catch. Brilliant. Like a mountain goat. Oh, aye. <laughs> no trouble at all for her. Yeah.